In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the code generated by Paint Code Export plugin in your own projects. First, let's create a new Xcode project. Okay. Now let's export the code using the Paint Code plugin for Sketch. Before doing that, make sure the drawings you wish to export are properly named as this affects the method names. I'll rename this Artboard1 to Clock. Now let's export this. Make sure you export the files into the Xcode project directory. Finally, we'll add the generated code files to the Xcode project, like this. OK, let's have a look at the generated code. Paint Code plugin generated a single class that contains all your drawing methods, as well as the color, gradient, and shadow library. As you can see, there is a drawing method generated for each page, artboard, and slice you choose to export. Additionally, for each page, artboard, and slice, there is also a UI image generating method that you can use. Let me show you how to use this code in your project. The easiest way to use the generated code is to create a UI view subclass. I will name this one My View. In this UI View subclass, override the drawRect method and call one of the generated drawing methods. I'll call the drawClock method here. Now let's use this UI View subclass in the user interface so we can see how it all works in a real app. I will add a new UI view and change its class to my view. Let's try this out. It works. Now let me show you a neat trick. We can specify that this UI view should be IB designable. After we do this, you can actually see the UI view preview directly in the interface builder like this. As you can see, the image is actually a bit too large for the UI view. Let me show you how to fix this. When calling the generated drawing method in the overridden draw rect method, you can specify the rectangle into which the drawing should draw. Usually, you want to use the bounds property here like this. Let's use the default resizing for now. Now, the image properly fits into the UI view. By default, proportional fitting is used, but you can specify whether you want the drawing method to fit, fill, center, or stretch the image into the target rectangle. I will now go back and change the resizing setting to stretch. And here's how it looks now. Let me change that back to aspect fit. Remember, you can go back to Sketch at any time, make changes to your drawings, and re-export the entire code again. This allows easily changing your drawings without modifying any code in your app by hand. In many places in the iOS API, you actually have to use UI images or UI colors to customize how things look. Let me show you how to use these APIs together with the code generated by PaintCode. Let's add a UI tab bar view to our user interface. There. Now let's also add two UI labels. I will make them a bit larger. Let's change the titles to primary title and secondary title.
OK. Now I will modify the view controller to include IB outlets to these three objects. I'll name the first one primary label, the second will be secondary label. Finally, we'll name the third one clock item. There. Let's also change the system item setting of the UI tab bar item to custom. This will allow us to customize the icon used by the tab bar item. Now in the view controller, I can easily set the clock items image to a UI image, which will be dynamically generated by our code, like this. I can also set the colors of the UI labels to the colors we defined in Sketch in the previous tutorial video. Let's try it out. As you can see, it works, but there are a few issues. The icon in the tab bar item is too large, and the labels are partially off screen. Let's fix this. First, I'll move the labels. Like this. OK. Let's change the size of the icon now. You can specify the size of the UI image you want to generate, like this. You can also choose the resizing mode. That's much better now. Finally, we can try changing the colors defined in Sketch to see if the labels change too. Let's export this. Perfect! Using the generated code in your user interfaces is pretty easy. By using this approach, instead of raster images, you can get rid of 1x, 2x, and 3x PNG files that are hard to maintain and manage. If you make minor changes to the generated code, you can even create dynamic, parametric drawings that are simply impossible to create using raster images. If you like the Paint Code plugin for Sketch, make sure you also check out Paint Code, our full-featured vector drawing app that is tailored to create user interfaces. With our standalone Paint Code app, you can create dynamic, resizable, and parametric drawings without the need to modify generated code by hand. Paint Code also supports variables, expressions, parametric symbols, and much more powerful support for color, gradient, and shadow libraries. Thanks for watching.